So this is where I'm trying to get to. And I want to err on the side of it being too sticky versus it being, yep, you're almost there too. I would say you're probably, once you kind of stir that flour in, you might be so close to there. All right, good morning. We have my stuffing recipe going in the background, but we are going to see if we can do dinner rolls. I've done loaves, we've done artisan loaves, we've done sandwich loaves, but we're gonna see if we can do rolls for Thanksgiving today. Okay. It's gonna be very tacky, but I can still technically hold it. Now we're gonna to wanna to keep a floured enough surface that it doesn't make bread hands. So our goal is to do the least amount of flour on our board to not add more flour. Okay. But not where, once it, it starts sticking, sticking. Yeah. you just need a, a little yeah. stir. I think your timer's done. That's mommy's timer. Oh, that's mommy's. Oh. Good remembering though. So it's already more workable. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, I forgot. Why did you forget to tell them? <laughs> okay, over there, we have breadcrumbs or croutons, chopped up pieces of bread. Where did that bread come from, Alex? I made it, sourdough starter, all the way to a loaf to cut up. Um, so sourdough bread or French loaf bread just from the grocery store, mm -hmm. poultry seasoning, salt and pepper. Okay. This is celery, leftover of the celery juice. When you boil the celery, you've got some extra celery juice. Mm -hmm. I'll add some of this. Look at that stuff. Are you sure that celery juice, it looks a little suspect. It is celery juice. <laughs> and then we've got butter and onions. Mm. And that's it. That's all we're gonna add to our stuffing and it's going to turn into soft, moist bread. And then you can use it as a stuffing for your turkey or just put it into a pan, which is what we're gonna do. And if we need a little extra flavor, I brought my bone broth just to throw in because we don't have it cooking in a bird. So this is gonna like replace the like, oh, I'm cooking inside of a turkey. Yeah. Yep. Hammer turkey. What's your favorite on Thanksgiving? Not a big meat person. So um, I'll, I'll eat like a little bit of turkey. I'm here for the mashed potatoes and the stuffing. I'm here for the stuffing. And the gravy. Yeah. Okay. Chicken, turkey, ham, or backstrap? Backstrap, deer, and then chicken. We call it venison. Venison, sorry. Gotta change the name to make us feel better about it. <laughs> oh dear. How's Grammy doing? Hi, Grammy. Can everybody say hi to you? No. They're on vlog. Oh, golly, no. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Papa's over there, friends. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. We'd love to know what your favorite uh, meal is on Thanksgiving. What do you guys do? Um, for those not in America, today's just a normal Thursday for you. Um, but you should just adopt our tradition because it's a great one because it just means we get the day off and we get about, to eat. And we can eat, how about we eat not until you feel sick. Yeah. That should be everyone's tradition. For sure. Except for on Thanksgiving you usually eat until you feel yeah, sick. Yeah, I mean, we, we've kind of cut down on that, but we, uh, we got our Thanksgiving pants. Did you bring your stretchy pants? I have stretchy pants on right now, Perfect. but I, I have jeans for dinner which did you bring your pregnancy jeans i should have i it'll it'll be better you wear tight fitted pants and mm -hmm. you're like mm, it, you lets, eat it lets you know plate. when to stop yeah. yeah today we just kind of talk as a family about what we're thankful for and that's kind of the the genesis of the day is just how grateful we are for just everything around us we use it as an excuse to get the family together and to talk about gratitude and uh, make declarations for the next year because now it's official for most that now we can start watching Christmas movies, right? Yeah. Well, we started a month ago. Okay, but for you, what are your favorite Christmas movies? Uh, it's a Wonderful Life is still my favorite. Yeah. Dad, hey, do you know what? what? My favorite movie is Snow. 
You like Do you it? like it? We like, we watched Snow 1. Yeah, have you ever I seen like Snow 2? So we love the nativity. Oh, I love the nativity. The girls love the star. Yeah, the best. But honestly, any Hallmark movie, any day, yeah. makes me happy. Yeah, amazing. Also, Arthur's Christmas. Arthur's Christmas is very cute. Arthur's Christmas is wonderful. What's that Thanksgiving movie that we always watch that like is basically Thanksgiving, but then it like talks about Christmas, kind of? Uh, it's a, it's about Thanksgiving. Planes, trains, and planes, trains, trains and automobiles. It's terrific That's for to adults. Home. It's terrific for adults. Yeah, not for children. It's like trying to get home for Thanksgiving. Yeah, for my dad, <clears throat> my dad and I like very different movies. I like movies where the characters are in a mode of frustration <laughs> and how do they get out of it? And my dad cannot stand mm -hmm. those movies. Like I grew up with Dumb and Dumber and Liar Liar and like all of those, like. <clears throat> Frustrating plots. Frustrating plots, like planes, trains, and automobiles. And my dad just is such an empathetic, compassionate person. He just feels for that main character and he's like, this is not enjoyable. If they're not enjoying this, I'm not enjoying this. And I just kind of laugh at everything. So I kind of kind of like it all. But now that we have young children, uh, the movies that we usually watch as adults, like we never see them anymore because now that's all cartoon based. But comment down below, what is your favorite Thanksgiving meal? Um, tradition, would love to know your traditions, um, would love to know um, kind of what you're most excited about heading into the holiday season. Um, we love you guys, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're watching. We're intensely focused on what you're doing. Is that the boozer? This is all the liquid. What is in there? Butter. Oh, there's the onions. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's gonna turn out great. Yeah. Alex, yeah. can we get a cow? Because I feel like for the amount of butter we use, That's, we could really, uh, I'm not even we kidding. could really save some money on a cow. Every time I cook with butter, I'm like, hey, wow, that was an expensive meal. Did you get the Kerry Gold on sale at Costco? I always get the Kerry Gold on sale at Costco. We also we stocked up. We've gone through. We've gotten six so far, but we need to get more before the end of the sale. What the one that you gave me, Daddy? Uh, girls, can you bring Grammy over here, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. Question. Yes. When I'm. Are you in desperate need do of your I need, mother right now? I need my mom. Good call, um, Do I use? Do I make the croutons like moist in the bowl, or do I just put it all in? And then when it cooks, all the juices will moisten everything up. Like, do I need to keep adding extra liquid? Because don't you use- Make it like you make it at the, at the moisture level you want. Well, and then cook it. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? You gotta use your hands. Hands in it, hands, hands, hands. I'll use my hands when the croutons stop being so hard. They, they're pokey. Oh, stop. Oh. Yeah, just put the rubber gloves on. For real? That's actually a great idea. What I do. I've never made it with sourdough though. I always make it with French bread. This is gonna be delectable. So I don't know. I can't imagine it being bad. I made How do I, I need to like, uh, I need a, Mimi, this is your biggest bowl, right? Ooh, look at that. This is what we call bread hands? Uh huh. All right guys, I am going to put the recipe down in the description, I promise. And if I forget, someone remind me and then I'll add it. The only thing is you just have to keep adding liquid till it gets moist. So I would say the sourdough bread isn't sucking up the moisture as quickly as that just like white, nothing fluffy French bread loaf does. That just like soaks up all the moisture. So I might have to add like triple the moisture for this. And especially cause we're not putting it in a bird. If we put in a bird, it would probably get, it would be good. Oh yeah, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And then you can just taste it to make sure it's the flavor you like. You have two of them. You're gonna add. You're gonna have to add more poultry seasoning. I can add mm -mm. any. No, that would be overpowering. You're gonna need more food than you want. Yeah. Oh, I'm not be really full. I feel like the kids are like with it, you know? Like they're not just like along for the ride. They're, they're grown they're ups kind now. Of grown ups, yeah. yeah. Okay, the broccoli casserole's going in the oven. Wow, Alec. 350, is that gonna be all right? Perfect, I think. Alex, I feel like you've become the ultimate picture of like city girl gone, 
kind of like lost in the pioneering. Like the, the idea of going like way back, the idea of going simple, the idea of going. Yeah. Well, I, it's weird because I feel almost like, like a wishy-washy person, which I shouldn't, but growing up, like I had role models. Who were your role models? I mean, we had Jessica Simpson, Spice Girls, Britney Spears. I mean, it was just very much like all this like glitz and glam and all the things. Did you want to be them? I, I, I didn't want to be them, but like my mind didn't even get wrapped around the beauty of a different kind of lifestyle. I don't know. I think it's just, it's, it's interesting how celebrities or you know what's on tv can just be so in your face of thinking that oh that's what i want yeah. and it just takes wisdom of growing older of what's really going to bring you joy and for us it i mean i've watched one too many pioneer shows i guess that's what we can do you remember those deem old it school to pioneer shows we, we would watch, watch we would watch the pioneer quest pioneer quest and frontier house frontier house that one was like the four couples and it was, could you could they survive the winter yeah. with how they were on the Pioneer? And yeah, there there's just such a, a joy that comes with being able to feel like you can be self-sustainable and you know how to do things and you don't, you're not dependent on the grocery store mm -hmm. per se and you know how to raise animals and I don't know there's just I feel I'm like so thankful this year for being able to fulfill a desire I mean I would say this has been a passion of ours for 10 years oh yeah but it's just interesting like as a as a young teenager little kid of like sure. what I was passionate about what I wanted to becoming an adult and then realizing how I wanted what really matters what yeah and how we wanted our life to yeah. look I and feel like no I feel like I've known you for 14 years. At least, yeah. And no part of you ever wanted to be famous. No part of you ever wanted to be known. But I do feel no, like I, as you've come into your own, I, I think know. I think your value you value the value, right? It's the only thing about YouTube, I we will say this over and over again. We're so thankful for you guys. We really enjoy being able to encourage people and especially when we were sharing a lot about infertility to make people not feel alone that was just very much our passion but never in a million years did i have a desire to you know be on film or tv or movies or anything like that yeah. or what wasn't known before but youtube becoming a a life choice i always thought that we would escape to the middle of nowhere and have a homestead and you really did. You really I mean, always wanted. Philip Philip was like overwhelmed when we were first married. I would only wear skirts and dresses for, I think it was a couple of years that I really just was really into going modesty. back to, you know. Alex was always into modesty. Modesty, yes. And I'm still into modesty, but I mean, it's. It was more like the pioneer life of let's throw on the apron and the skirt and the dress and get out and milk the cow. But we don't have a cow. I know. But not the yet. fact that you're even talking about it is absolutely insane. Like insane. We're not just talking about it. We are. We're making it work. It depends how her calving. Oh my god. Goes. Well, there's and a cow in question. There's a couple cows in question. That's what I love about you is that you you find a dream and you go after it really really hardcore. And um, we just jump two feet in without. We do. Thinking. We do. We, I, we're maybe it's a little impulse, and maybe it's a little passionate, and maybe it's a passionate. little just crazy. Yeah. But I feel like that's what is. Even if we do something that like isn't right, mm -hmm. we have each other as a support system. Mm -hmm. And even if you've had a dream that, let's say, I wasn't like immediately in on. Um, we What's have found a, we yeah. have found a way to be on and if there's ever been a dream that like I've been in on you found a way to support me in that and I feel like we that's li we like to support each other's desires and dreams we are very yeah. unified in our marriage I feel like we are constantly m most of the time <laughs> on the big issues we're completely in lockstep with each other sure. um, on little minute details probably <laughs> different probably but 
Yeah, I've I've certainly had passions that I've been chasing this year that I feel like are things that I always wanted to do as a child. Um, the hunting and the gathering and like the eventually one day like the woodworking and the chopping down wood and like the, managing the land burly and burly man sure feel. and like i love getting my hands dirty i love that you want a garden i love because i love setting up the garden i don't necessarily love being in the garden mm -hmm. as much as you yeah i like working around the garden i like doing i have some setup for the you. the cattle panels and the tent staking and like like moving the chickens and like managing the animals actually i really do love i really love the animals i don't I'm so impulsive and so impatient, like sitting and waiting for like a flower to bloom is just not my thing. But I love the the spirituality in it and the waiting for something that is futuristic and hopeful and all of those themes are woven throughout the Bible and are woven through my heart. And so I can understand and that's how I get on, on to the side with you. But I do feel like like watching you make the bread for Thanksgiving, watching you make all of these, like. There's no store-bought products outside of the butter for this recipe that she made for the stuffing and the rolls. Like she literally did all of this herself. Um, and I think that's why a cow would make sense is through how much butter we go through. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, and the yogurts that she has made through the raw milk that we buy and all of the things that I feel like- It's just it actually how makes, much do you want to be locked at home? Sure. But the practical side of the cow makes complete sense to where we're at. So it 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 makes well, a lot of let's, sense. Let's let's preface because we are it's talking about cow. It's terrifying for me to feel like jailed at home. I know, and but, that's the one but thing I, I that I'm say, like I don't yeah. Depending on mm -hmm. the route of which cows become available this spring, yeah. most likely it will be little littler cows that you have to wait until they're two sure. before you can breed them. So what you're saying is we're gonna have a pet. We'll have a pet. And Boy. they'll be so cute and, and so can, sweet. Can the kids ride them? The kids can, well. Can you ride a cow? We're gonna make sure to get a can. cow that has a good demeanor no. and it will be a pet. And then you can't even breed them until they're two. Are and we then getting, it's nine are we months. Getting a cow? Okay, me, house, nine months, baby, puppy. And we're skipping the puppy? We, the cow we, is like a big puppy. Where's the puppy? Uh, we can look into it. Okay. Okay. We need a dog. Let's Encouragement of the day, support each other's dreams even if they're not your own because you'll be surprised that as you're supporting them, how it grows on you like love. You said I'm the best daddy? Don't be lying to me. Not lying that you're not the best daddy. A double negative in that sentence makes me feel terrific. Friends, we thought you were bringing along each and every one of you to our Thanksgiving. It didn't work out like that. We didn't get the camera out like once after we left this we kitchen. We took some pictures. So we we took some, some photos. Fun stories. We did a lot of Instagram. So if you don't so hopefully, Instagram, that's yeah, that's where it. you need to be. But it was more just kind of the comfort of the family. And here's what we're doing. We're cleaning up, uh, Mimi and Papa's. We're heading to our house right now. And I want you to know that we're, as we're heading home, we're gonna be doing today and tomorrow, our decorating of the house, all the Christmas stuff. And no, it's not because we believe that Christmas starts the day after Thanksgiving. It's because- No. We just finished our tour. We've had a lot going on, and we wanted to Next maximize year. our time with the family. Next, Next year, year is the it year. will be decorated. It'll November be done 1st. by October 30th. There you go. As I said to Alex earlier, we're a year ahead on putting the Christmas lights on the house. You're welcome for not taking them down. So I have the spirit of the holidays throughout the year, <laughs> um, and uh, for those that have said to me, if you leave them up all year, they usually don't last very long. I hope you're wrong. We'll take them down this year. We'll find we'll find out when I get an electrical outlet out oh there. Gosh, I have lids right here. But um, yes, we're gonna be decorating for Christmas. We're gonna be getting everything here cleaned up, and we will see you guys back at our house and let the festivities begin. Let the Hallmark movies continue. Alex, uh, is that your thing? I feel like that's your thing. Oh my gosh, you get me a good ha Hallmark movie, mm. I'm set. 
What what is your favorite kind of type of Hallmark movie? Is it like the ones where the guy and the girl sort of know each other, but like they're perfect for each other, they just don't know it until the very end, and then they kiss, and then it's over? Or is that like is like that like that type of Hallmark movie? Or is movie? it the one where they go from the city to the small town, and then they yeah. find each other, and then they still and end they up fall in love, end. and then they decide to like never go back to the big city and just stay in the fall? Is that kind of both? I thought both. Okay, both. so like to me. They're all the same, and the acting is all the same, um, but so they're good. still adorable because why? So when we are watching Hallmark movies, my wife gets into the zone. Uh, she I'm so happy, but she tears I up, she laughs with them, she cries with them. Whatever <laughs> Hallmark is doing, uh, they have hit their market. Because I have a really hard time when the guy doesn't get the girl. In talk movies. everlasting. And I get very upset, very upset. She emotional. cried for like 10 I days one time after Tuck Everlasting. <laughs> also the last time she ever saw that movie. Oh my gosh, yeah. But we have found some good uh, good movies so far. We watched a few last night. And um, man, it was nice to slow down for a day, wasn't it? Yeah. We sped up to Thanksgiving. We're slowing down now just for a moment to clean up, to wind down. And now we're gonna be ramping things up starting tonight with Christmas decorations and getting kind of Christmas set uh, and bringing you guys along in that. So come and see what our house looks like now that we're ready for Christmas.